2018 drone racing season is finally here. I ended 2017 season with this quad here. This is the B5 210 with the custom uh, top plate. I was running some T-Motor Gear 200 motors on here, and I thought these would be real awesome because they're light. But then I had problems like the shaft breaking off when you tighten up the props. That was a pain. Also, I have several missing bells that are out in the practice field somewhere. So I took those off. Now I'm on these 2300 KV motors. Now the reason for trying to use 2300 KV motors and by blades instead of tri blades is to try to get my thumbs used to getting near full throttle. Because if you're not going near full throttle, you're not going to win many drone races. So anyway, that was a whole intent with these 2300s. Well, this is now going to be a backup quad for the 2018 season as I move on to some different quads. <laughs> My first quad for this season is actually a little bit of carryover from last season. This is my X220 stretched X frame. And this is using uh, 40 amp ESCs along with some 2306, 2750 KV motors from Emacs. The motors are extremely powerful and they are extremely amp hungry. Now this thing is fast. The only problem it has is that it has a little bit of tendency to kind of drag around corners instead of whipping around them real quick. But the motors have the, so much power in them, it kind of makes it up in the straightaway. And also, like I said, I've been flying this one at the last few races, so it's going into 2018 as one of my primary quads. These next two quads are both running Team Nugent frames. This is running a Team Nugent Boss XL, and this is a Boss Medium frame. The difference is that the body on the Medium is just a little bit shorter than the frame on the XL. Now, unless you're trying to skimp for every gram, the XL, I think, is a little bit better choice, well, for, for me anyway, because I like the little bit of extra room it has. And the little bit extra room is really just up here between your flight stack and your camera. And so on here, I'm actually using the included um, camera mounts that mount the micro uh, run cam inside there, and it fits just fine. And I have I've had no problems with this. I do have a zip tie holding down my VTX and my um, receiver because I didn't have any other better way to stack it in there. I guess I could have tried to put bigger spaces in and squish it in between the plates, but you know, whatever, it works fine. I'm also using a uh, little stubby Axie antenna on the back. This is the real ACC version and it's, it's RHCP, I believe. But So this is going to be my second quad in the lineup and I'll probably take over as first once I uh, get a few laps of races in with it. Also this is using some DYS, uh, Wii Motors and WEI, I think that's how I say it. And these are actually the 2600 KV motors, the Sam Gook series. And I like these motors pretty well so far. I ran it with two blade props and it felt a little underpowered. So I think with three blade props, it'll be a lot more powerful and a lot better contender. This medium frame actually has five millimeter arms on it, whereas this one has four millimeter arms. The five millimeter arm should have a lot less chance of breaking. This is using the Eosheen stack inside here. I got the, the um, ESC and the flight board and VTX all in one board, which makes kind of nice. And you can also control this with their OSD. On here, I have the Racer Star 2306 motors. These are the fire edition, and uh, we'll see how these do. They are Racer Stars, and so, who knows? Sometimes, sometimes it seems like they're awesome, and then some people have problems with them. With my old Racer Stars and my X210, I didn't have any problems for over 11 months until they started getting real hot, and I kind of blamed that partially on the ESCs. But on here, this is the medium uh, boss frame. You can see how there's a little less space inside here between the flight board and the camera. But other than that, they're really they're pretty much identical, and the, the arms are interchangeable. Another good thing about these boss frames are they support um, two battery straps. And you go, oh, one battery strap's enough, but how many times have you crashed and your batteries come off? Well, for me, pretty much every time. So on here, I put the two battery straps. I'm actually using landing gear, well, landing gear foam inside there to help hold the battery in to keep it from sliding out. And the nice thing about that is these are cheap and they're light and they do their job. They grip the battery pretty decently, especially with two straps. That In the time I've flown these two quads, I haven't had a battery come off of the frame yet. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Also, this one is, is using the Micro Run Cam uh, Swift. Yeah, Swift. Instead of the Swift 2. The Swift 2 has OSD built in, but I'm using the OSD from the Betaflight um, flight board, so there's really no need for the OSD in the camera itself. As for the rest of the gear I'll be using, I'm going to be using the Tyrannus again this year. This is the Tyrannus Plus. 
and then here it has the upgraded gimbals and this one here is actually a replaced gimbal that has a little bit shorter throw on it and I've made a video about this and the big reason for using this is just to make it easier to reach full throttle without having to stretch quite as far. Not real big of a deal but it does help and I'm actually reaching full throttle a lot more. This year, in 2017, I ended using the HD2 goggles simply because their field of view is a little bit smaller and I was able to see the corners a little bit better. I'll probably continue using the HD2s. I think the HD3s had a recall on them that I'll be sending in my goggles for that. Also, I've been using the Panda 1300 batteries and these have been doing pretty well. I picked up a Bonka 1500 because of my amp hungry 2750 kV motors and it seems to handle those pretty well, the 1300s. It kind of hurts those, but it, it can, as long as I'm just doing a two-minute race, it does fine. Also, I got a my first three or 5S battery. This is a Dynagy uh, 1350, and if you look in there, it has five cells, so kind of cool to have this. I don't have a, I think my quads can handle it, but I haven't tried it yet. Also, I picked up a Bonka 6S battery, and you can see there's six cells in there, and this is a 1300, and it's a 75C rated battery. So... With the open specs for 2018 and multi-GP, I am definitely going to try a 5 and 6S this year and see how that goes. We started the 2017 season with two race directors in two different groups. This year, we have three race directors in two different groups, so hopefully that will just equate out to more races being set up and more chances for me to break my stuff. I mean, fly my quads. Anyway, if you have any questions about the 2018 setup that I have here, let me know down in the comments if you're interested. Tell me about yours, and let me know also if you're planning on going to 5 or 6S this year. It seems like a lot more people are. I have a hard time pushing my 4S quads to full speed, so 6S, having a higher top end isn't going to help. Better efficiency really isn't going to help me much either because I usually land with enough of my 13 and 1500 milliamp hour batteries to not really, you know, need more efficiency. Anyway, let me know your opinions down below, and I will try to respond to your questions and comments as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.